Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Finally, I got this in the mail. Well, I ordered a uh, bunch of stuff on eBay, MRE type stuff. Started ever ordering stuff around October. And it had a tracking number. It's just the only one that didn't have a tracking number. And the 24 hour Russian one is a lot bigger than the other one I got. And I got a really good deal on it for a 24 hour, even though it's still expensive, for a 24 hour red, it's only $35, right? And it was stuck in Russia for the longest time. Because I got a French one from Poland. Uh, I'll be reviewing sometime. And what happened was it's, it was stuck in Russia for like forever. And I forgot about it. Oh, I didn't bother to check the tracking because I was checking every day the same thing. And it said it wouldn't be delivered. They st uh, estimated arrival time would be be between November 17th and December 4th. So I stopped checking. And then I looked Wednesday night and it said it just departed the Pittsburgh uh, area. Coming to, I should have got Thursday, but Thursday I worked. And it's registered mail, so what happened was I got a slip, and I was in town getting groceries. It wasn't I didn't want to I didn't arrange a re delivery, so I just went up and picked up at the post office. Uh, the Albion one, very first uh, pack I ever picked up from the Albion post office because it used to always be from the Cranesville one. Oh, thank you, Amber. Say so I don't like this music either, but I like you and your reviews. Thank you, Amber. You're a sweet girl. You're a sweet lady. And. uh... That's my Cannibal Course review. Because Amber just said, I don't like this music either, but I like you and your review. Thank you, Amber. And, uh, now I lost track of thought. Because the Cranesville Post Office, last time I had to pick up a, a package was when I was getting, like, uh, registered mail. And I was working a night shift and sleeping all day. And, uh, in 2014, that's before they got rid of their carriers and then everything went to Albion Post Office. I got this uh, the next day, Friday. I picked up at the post office. So I got it. And it was weird. It was like the package was all kind of beat up. This is what the package came in. Free shipping handling. This was only 35 bucks. Still a lot of money, but not too bad. Cover up my address. But I had the guy right here. He had a slip. You know, they have, if you get anything overseas... You have to give a, a pack slip for customs. You know, say what's in emergency food MRE. And then right here, uh, for United States, you put CWA at the end, which I, it must be Russian or something. The USA, maybe. See? But this is, the, and it has some stamps on top. Maybe that's what they're posted to. Maybe the postage is cheaper in Russia. It's expensive here. Then he wrote something else here. And, I mean, like his... Uh, address got damaged. They wrote something right there too. But I mean, I had a big package, and I'm very excited to review it. Uh, I did the other Russian um, MRE, which I really liked. So I'll be doing this one, and I'll be doing a French one down the line. But I thought I'd do this one just in case with the tins. I want to make sure. Hopefully, nothing's damaged in here. They actually taped this down. This was actually taped down, and this was taped down just to help in the process so nothing would poke through there's no hole there's little indentation here but i don't think that's nothing with the tins and stuff they're a little more fragile so hopefully nothing broke open on this but like i said i was in russia for a long time so it took me five weeks to get it but it was still quicker than uh estimated time between october i mean november 17th and december 4th so i hope you like this 24-hour ration uh review it. I know it's a long intro. And it's probably going to be a long video. Because it covers all three meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, I mean, I'll show um, you know, everything that I got in the meal. Then I'll split up the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I'll give you my thoughts and all this other stuff like I do with the other ones. And I really hope you like this video, everybody. It means a lot to me. Uh, so, Here's what's in the MRE, the 24-hour French MRE menu number one, I should say. Because I thought I was going to get menu uh, number one last time. I got menu two. But the one cool thing is, uh, at least I don't think I have any repeats from the other one. So that's good. So here are the contents of my French, I mean my Russian MRE, 24-hour Russian MRE. 
Yeah, and here's my what's all in the Russian MRE. There's a whole lot of stuff. A 24 hour Russian MRE. Like I said, I got, like I said, I, like I said, I got a good deal on this for like 35 bucks for all this. And first of all, you know, it comes in the box. It has three spoons. I just put the spoons right there. Four things of sugar. They must love their sugar. Now this right here is the zucchini caviar, not the eggplant. And it says caviar from marrows, which is like a mature zucchini plant. And there it's in it was leaking some. I actually got a little bit on this instruction sheet and on uh, napkins. It smells really good though, but it should still be good. Four sets of crackers. Now some of these have these are just a regular cracker like I had from the other one. Now on some reviews I see they have these crackers and they have like two things, the whole wheat crackers, but I just got all the same cracker. Oh well. Uh, water, two water purification tablets right here. Esbit stove. You know, I want to use the older one I had. I got from the other Russian armory first before using this. I got salt. I looked on Google Translate for all this stuff. Uh, pepper. I always think it says nephew thing. I think of my I think of my nephew AJ. He got a little and has a little inventory list for the uh, accessory pack that you know comes with. You got this is uh I got two of the it says gentle beef pate or gentle it just says gentle pate. I got two of them, which is really cool. I only thought I was getting one of those. I got giant thing of apple jam, which is fantastic. I love this last time. I got a thing of coffee. This is the isotonic drink. I just don't know what flavor it is. I'll find out whenever I make it. I, I don't know how much to add to it, too, but I'll, I'll find out. I got uh, fruit wand bar. This is... Uh, Yeah, and this fruit bar, I had to look, go back and look. This is uh, prunes with nuts as opposed to prunes with balls. Uh, I got coffee. Like I said, I got two of uh, the gentle pate. I got uh, cheese right here. I got uh, three of these packs of uh, sanitary wipes. I believe the green one is for your hand and the white one's for silverware. I got three of them. See? Along with the Esbet stove, I got windproof matches with a striker right here. Pretty cool. Really wrapped. And I got three of the main, the three mains. Uh, there's a lot of food here. This is a buckwheat porridge with beef. Or beef with buckwheat porridge right here. I got um, potatoes with beef stew. Right there. And this right here is Beef stew highest grade. So they got a lot of beef stew in here. And like I said, I think that's everything. I they they I got a lot of stuff in this one. So this oh and I got two things of tea also. Here and this one. So this might take me a while to do and I'm gonna frame it up as breakfast, lunch and dinner, so I'm, it's gonna take me a while. Uh probably take me all day. That's why I do these on a weekend, especially because I got a 24-hour uh, French one to do sometime in the future, too. But, boy, I got a lot of food here. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. I'm definitely going to have this because it's leaking a little bit. But it should still be good. Okay. Yeah, for breakfast, I'm definitely having the zucchini or the... Uh, caviar, the caviar from Marrows first because it was leaking. I already opened it up. Oily, I, I have to mix up some. Buckwheat porridge, coffee, some of the biscuits, and the apple jam. Okay, let's try the zucchini caviar first before I even start cooking that other stuff because it was leaking. Mm. This ain't bad. I like this better than the eggplant caviar. I'll probably get that eight and a half out of ten. It's pretty good. It's just oily. It smells really good too. Mm. Alright, so I just want to finish that one first because it was kind of opened a little bit. There's a, there's a pain in the butt to open some of these up. 
I forgot that one guy said that the best way to open up is to lift these up so they won't spill a little bit. I have to do that. Now and then I'm going to cook this up. Let me back. Uh, try to do it with the Esbit stove. I'm going to use that one that when I heat up the other one, it was still there's still a little bit left. I want to see if I can uh, restart that one. You know, waste not one. You know what I mean? They cost a lot of money. So I'll be back. I'm going to show you this cooking on Esbit stove. Excuse me, I actually made a mistake. Uh, for, I asked for an MRE.com. They said the white ones are for your hands and face and green ones are for silver, which makes sense because the green matches the color of the spoon. So, I didn't even thought of that. And here's the Esbit stove from last time, right? And uh, show you how to fold it up. There's a little diagram in there. Like it says, let me spell fishy. A little burn. I mean, I only used it the one time to heat up that one item. See, it's crystallized some on there. You fold these down, right? And then you fold these up. You fold the pointed edges up. And it catches the, uh, hopefully, those things are really big this time. Hopefully, it'll support it. I'll try it. Yeah, I got that little, I mean, a little burnt one. I'm going to try to light that again, see if I'll light again, just to try. And I'll be heating up the buckwheat port. They got my little uh, baking heat. I can put it right on there so it's safe. And uh, now I'll see you there. I also try, like, the uh, biscuits with uh, jam, two, and the coffee. Yeah, I got the light. It's cooking now. Here's the inside look at the uh, buckwheat porridge with beef. Smells fantastic. It's a lot of food. Yeah, it's a lot of food in there. It took a second to light. I had a light. I had a. I had a lighter my mom gave me a long time ago, back in 2015. That worked fine. It's working good now. It's cooking it. You can hear it. And cook it for a while. Awesome. Waste not want not. Side view of what it looks like. Cool. I'll be back with that along with the uh, uh, cracker with the apple jam and the coffee. This smells good. I had I love that buckwheat porch last time when Lithuania MRE. So hopefully this will be good too. Awesome. It's cooking good too. You can hear it sizzling. Okay, here's just some of the beef with buckwheat porridge right there. And there's still more in that container. Try it out. Try it out. That's really good. Yeah, 9 out of 10. Hmm. That's delicious. I'm gonna try the biscuit by itself, or the crack by itself. No, okay, it's like six out of ten. But let's try with the apple jam. Mmm. Mm. It's so much better. That apple jam is fantastic. That's 10 out of 10. With the biscuit, it's probably 8.5 out of 10. Mmm. I'm going to try the coffee. And the coffee. So hot, but good and strong. Mm, I love that coffee. That's a 9 out of 10 right there. What do you have for breakfast? I'll be back with lunch. It'll probably be a long video, so I hope y'all like it. This buckwheat porridge and beef is really good. I don't know if I'm going to record the rest of this tomorrow or what. I'm getting stuffed already. I'll see you for lunch.
Hey, uh, um, I'll get back to lunch in a minute. Show you what I'm gonna have for lunch. I want to show you this. Uh, this is a letter my mom sent me after my dad uh, passed away in 2015. My mom bought me a bunch of stuff. She bought me one of these lights. I never had one of these before. And I know you've seen these all all the time. I never seen one, and it has like a little uh, safety thing, positive, negative, plus or minus, I guess. And it has like a little switch right there and this little trigger like a little gun what you do is you push this up all the way and then you can press this wait a second I have and then you have fire I have fire that looks cool as hell don't it remember Tom Hanks burn burn fire I have made fire I have made fire and cast away that was a great movie so I use that to light that uh that uh, jewel tap that was halfway gone. And it's all the way gone now, and it's just a powder. You'll be careful how to show it. I don't want to get on the keyboard, but it stayed right here in this big uh, lump right there, but it's all powder right there. I have to clean that off. And one other thing is, whenever I do, I got French 24-hour French MRE. Whenever I do that one, I'm going to use the stove from that MRE because... Um, if I'm not, unless they changed it, there's supposed to be a handle that you fold. Because with the French Emery, what heat up in all cans, these are like tins, kind of. That's why I wanted to do it first, because I was nervous that something might get damaged because they're more fragile than the cans in the French ones. Hopefully not the damage in the French one. And, um, you know, they have the pull tab. I think it, it you fold a certain way and you can lift it up through the pull tab. You know, I don't completely trust that. I don't want to have it and then spill the whole thing and then it goes to waste because they're too expensive, you know. And uh, so I'll be using that one. But I wanted to, I noticed something when I was watching, uh, I was editing this uh, 24 hour uh, ration in parts, right? And it's probably going to be a long, I don't know if it's going to be the longest memory I didn't. But I noticed that uh, fuel tabs are different in uh, the new one I got. These are the ones that, and the new one right here. And there's a little bit broke off of one of these right here. This is from the new one. But the older one I had had these little brown bits right there and a striker. It looks kind of like an emery board right there. And what you do, is I, on the cookie sheet, I held it down. I put like this brown spot in there, like rubbed it against it. It's supposed to ignite. And then you put it on the uh, stove without burning yourself. Maybe uh, people are getting too many people are getting burnt, so they switch back to this. I don't know how the French ones are. I didn't even open that up. And the Lithuanian ones are the same way. They just have these ones just like this. So, I mean, something like. God damn it. Something like this would be exactly perfect. I'm getting beer in the way. You know, to like those. Now I'll, I'll take you back to lunch. So I, I hope you like this video so far. It might be my longest one. I don't know. But right now I'm rattling on. So that always adds time to these videos. But I wanted to tell you about that too. And this is, I never had one of these before. I've seen them all the time, but I never got one. I'm glad I got one now. I I haven't used them since like 2015. I have it stashed away in there. I forgot I even had it. Found it and it still works. And this is perfect for lighting these things. You know, and they're not, they don't go up all at once. It takes a little while to light them, but once they go, they go pretty good. So hopefully the plain ones will light pretty good. So, okay, here's uh, on to lunch. Okay, I'm back for lunch. And this is the gen gentle pate right there. This is the processed cheese. Processed cheese right here. I got, uh, uh, potato stew with beef got more crackers got uh, tea and I got the sugar in case it needs the tea needs it let's try that cheese by itself it's hard I know Michael Creech likes cheese so Pretty good. 
Yeah, it's seven and a half out of ten. Let's try the pate. Mm. Not bad. I get that eight out of ten. I'm trying on the crackers. I'm sure it'll be good on the crackers. And I'll get the other stuff heated up. After having more of it, I'm not that big on that cheese. I'm going to have four out of ten. I might as well my like it though. Mm. It's better on a cracker though. I had them both on a cracker. And the cracker might be a four and a half out of ten. And this might be a eight and a half out of ten. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. Mm. And that pate started out alright, but now, yeah, I don't care for it either. I get that probably a 5 out of 10. Where the cracker, about 5.5 out of 10. I'm sure the potato stew and beef will be a lot better. I'm not a fan of that either. Okay, I got this on again. I couldn't get the, the strikers not working anymore, so I had to use, use the lighter. like that one bit. So it's heating up right now, the striker's pretty much done. I couldn't get the light with the striker. Yeah, here it's going, you hear it sizzling now. This is the uh, potato stew with beef. So we're back, uh, taste it and tell you how it is. All right, get it. You see it's really sizzling now. It'll be pretty good, awesome. This took forever to get the light. Yeah, here's some of the potato stew with beef. It's very hot, and there's still plenty in the container. It's really hot, though. I make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom. That's why I didn't let it cook that long. Try it out. Very good. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I think it tastes <coughs> better than Dizzy Moore. Um, you know, the beef and stuff. You get a bit of carrots. Yeah, 8 out of 10. And let's try the tea. Still too strong. I have to put some on. Uh, yeah, by itself, it's like a six out of ten. I have to add some uh, sugar to it. Do that. I said it cuts the uh, cuts the hardener. I'd probably give a seven out of ten. That'd probably be the same for the tea for uh, dinner too. I'll probably say the same thing for that. Okay, and here's what I'm having for dinner: uh, dental pate. Crackers. Now you know uh, the dental pate is not that great and the crackers aren't that great. And I'm going to do the tea. I have one more tea. And, and you know the tea is not that great so I have to review that. You know and add. I know it needs sugar. And I got the isotonic drink. I found this is raspberry. I already put it in this container right here. And left it to uh, get cold in the fridge. And I'm also going to have. Uh, this is the beef stew highest grade. I'm going to. Uh, Cook that back on the stove. I'm going to adjust that stove so it'll handle these better. And reheat that thing, uh, that fuel tab. Restart it. And also I get the fruit one for dessert, which is proven nuts. So I'll pretty much just be reviewing this, this, and this. Because you know how I feel about the other things. Just keep the video a little shorter. Alright. Join me at the stove and I'll show you heating, out, heating this up. Yeah, this lit easy. This uh, relit easy. And look at that piece of meat in there with, uh, I believe that's potatoes or onion or something like that. Onion. So this should be really good. And like I said, I'm going to have the fruit one. Like I said, I'm going to set uh, the pate and stuff. I already had that, so you know what I feel like. Then I'm going to have the tea and the uh, isotonic drink. 
And you know how I always felt about the teeth, so I'm just trying to keep it shorter. I'm heating up right now. It might take a little while to heat. So, boiling a little bit. This should be really good. Look at that piece of meat right there. It looks awesome. Wow. Yeah, I should say, whenever using one of these stoves, always, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. And, you know, for any kids doing it, please get your parents to assist you. Or have your parents do it. But I don't know if kids would be doing MREs, but you never know. But this looks really fantastic. You can tell it's boiling now. Wow, this is going to be really good. I'm glad I saved it for dinner. Okay, I ended up putting this in a bowl. What I thought was uh, potatoes or onion on the side, I think, was just fat. So this probably is not going to be the healthiest thing. It sure smells good, though. I got that. I got the fruit bar. I got the isotonic drink, so let's try them out. Try this first. It makes a broth. That's really good. Let's try it out. It's very good. Mm. That's a full on time. I mean, it's fatty, but it sure tastes good. If you're out in the field, it give you a little more energy or flavor. But that's fantastic. 10 out of 10. Let's try the raspberry isotonic drink. Well, that's not too bad. It said 250 uh, milliliter came in about a cup, which I don't think is that bad. That's actually pretty tasty. I get a 9.5 out of 10. Now let's try the fruit bar for dessert. Very good and chewy. That's uh, fruit with uh, prunes with nuts. Try to make you go to the bathroom. Mm. That's not bad. I give that a nine out of ten. Well, there you have it. This has been a Russian MRE. I'm gonna go back with my thoughts on it. Now this wasn't the most healthiest thing right here, but sure is good. Now, join me on my webcam for our final thoughts of this 24-hour Russian MRE that took me three days to do. Now I gotta finish it, uh, do the closing thoughts and edit. A lot of work, but I, I do it because I, I love doing it. And I love all of you. Yeah, I'm back. Um, I hope you liked this very involved uh, review. You know, it's a complete MRE review, but I didn't think it was any point in just reviewing the tea again, which I ever reviewed for lunch, which needs sugar. And also the other gentle pate is the same thing with the crackers. Um, it's definitely the longest uh, most I've ever spent on a video. It took me three days to make. Then I got to edit, and that's going to take a while. Now it's going to take a while to upload, but I hope you all liked it. Um, as far as uh, Russian MRE, definitely the best things were, the, uh, of course, the apple jam, which is fantastic. Uh, that beef, highest grade, which really went... It was very unhealthy, but I mean, it tasted fantastic. That was good. And also the isotonic drink, which I was very surprised with. And some of those other ones have been not been very good, but that was pretty decent. Um, you know, one of the things, they sure like their crackers and stuff. Like, I could see, like, leaving out one pack of crackers maybe and then, like, um, putting maybe a chocolate bar. And then, like, you know, instead of leaving, like, two packs of sugar out or one pack may put in a little bit of beef jerky or something like that and that'd be kind of neat but I mean whatever they want to do it's a fantastic overall I give it 8 out of 10 I think the lowest things were the cheese I thought the cheese was funky and uh that cracker than the tea were only okay it was very strong but I hope you like this video everyone and uh try to keep it short yeah this might be the longest one in length I've ever done I don't know I gotta edit together so it's gonna take a while but I really hope you like it. And until next time, as always, everybody, please take care of my legion.
啊，再见，李杰。Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king, pin of them all. Yeah.